In this presentation, we are going to look at the Poisson random variable. And the question here is as follows. It's a quick example question. Suppose that the random variable x uh, follows a Poisson distribution with a rate parameter L. And if we increase the value of L, which of the following is true? So we have four options here. The spread increases, but the center remains unchanged. Both the spread and the center increase. The center increases, but the spread decreases, and conversely, the spread increases while the uh, center decreases. So, just quick few remarks. What did they mean by center and spread? Well, we, uh, I would conventionally call them measures of centrality, uh, such as mean and median, uh, where we might also, uh, the spread might, uh, it refers to essentially the measures of dispersion, for example, uh, variance range, interquartile range, and so on. So here is what I suggest we do. We generate 100 random numbers from the Poisson distribution. I didn't really pick uh, 100 for any particular reason. It's just a nice round number. And we're going to specify a, a value for lambda, which is what the rate parameter is known in, uh, how R would recognize the rate parameter. We call it lambda, it would be called lambda rather than L. And what we're going to do is compute the mean variance for this set of numbers, and we're going to repeat this process a few times uh, for uh, increasing the value of lambda each time. So here I have at the bottom of the slide there, I have some R code. And what I do here is I have the uh, three data sets each. Uh, with 100 uh, observations and we are going to use, uh, uh, randomly generate uh, 100 uh, Poisson uh, observations. Uh, 100 with uh, lambda equals 4, 100 with lambda equal 8, and 100 with lambda equal 18. And we're going to call these data sets x1, x2, x3. So I'm just going to copy and paste this into R. So control C here we have R, control V. That's grand. So we have all, uh, the data sets there set up in R. Now what do we do? Well, what we're going to do is actually just simply compute, compute the mean and variance of each. So we have our data sets x1 and x2, x3 and x4, and x2 and x3, and we have the mean and variance of each. So I'm just going to run this bit of code here as well. Just simply compute the mean of uh, the mean and variance of all three data sets. So this is our answer here. What happens uh, when we increase lambda? Well, the first value, um, uh, 4.13, 7.77, 18.23, this indicates that the uh, mean, the center, increases. But let's look at the, each, uh, the second value in the, of each output, 3.99, 7.83, 5455 5, and so on, and 18.58, uh, so on. It also shows that the uh, dispersion, the spread, increases. So let's just go back to our uh, multiple choice there. The So I'm going, uh, clearly uh, option two is the correct answer, both the spread and center increase. So option two is the correct answer. And that ends our presentation. So thank you. Oops. Switch this off. There we go.